go. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passy. Just getting it's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's glad to be back and it's glad to be here. Today we're going to be playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, uh, the new RPG from uh, Warhorse Entertainment and Deep Silver, which is a first person Oblivion slash Skyrim esque historical epic RPG. And I've got a little bit of experience playing this so far. And I'm looking forward to playing it again with you guys in the audience. We're going to start actually from the very beginning of the game and try and burn through up as far as the title credits, the prologue chapter, I suppose, the best way to describe it, of this game. And now, when I was playing through it, and I actually played through it for, I think it was three and a half, four hours to get to the point where I was previously. Part of that was actually some of the problems that this game actually has. It has a number of glitches and bugs. I've actually ran into a couple of things where I've just been caught out by for trying to steal something whenever I really shouldn't have. I've been uh, noticing like a couple of graphical glitches and issues that actually have caused me to fall through a wall and then get trapped out of a place. I end up actually having one part of the game where I could not find any other solution other than to commit a crime <laughs> to actually get caught just to make it progress faster. So hopefully we'll be able to do that stuff <laughs> in a different way because as an RPG, this gives us so many options. There's a lot of stuff to do in this. So maybe we'll actually see some very I haven't actually caught on to myself since we've actually been playing through this. And the fact that you have these options, that there's that much space of freedom to actually do a lot of things in this game. It's just, uh, it's going to be, the game's going to have so many replayable and unique moments from player to player. So let's get ourselves into the intro. The King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. That's a little bit better. <laughs> that actually moved. Yeah, the realized I actually wanted to use the remote and there's a bathroom in front, so there's <laughs> not much I could really do to stop it. Whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. So old King Wesselus. <laughs> but Wenceslas did not. Wenceslas. Wenc we we Wexelus? He neglected it. I just like the fact that his, his bodiness. <laughs> I'd like the old tapestry kind of art style that's actually being shown. <laughs> it was like, no, this dude fucked around a lot. To turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little See, that is a bit of a shitty ruler, ruler thing to do. Whenever somebody actually does that, you just gotta accept that they're, they're not really fit for the role. Did not impress the imperial nobility either. Westlands, the eagle. I mean, they said you were gonna sit on a throne and do nothing. You're gonna deserve the title. Turn for help to his half brother, Sigismund of Hungary. So Sigismund is pretty much your your antagonist for the entirety of the part that we're playing through so far. It, I like this background thoughts, this actual experience of kind of being shown what is going on in the realm, because I'm not a, I'm not a, a student of history, especially medieval history, and uh, watching a couple of people's explanations of what was going on in the geopolitical climate of the time, it made it a little bit easier to understand exactly the, the succession of thrones that was actually going on in this. Now obviously, uh, having a ruler that was one of the best in history, and then being his replacement, <laughs> even though you actually are of the same family name. Don't mean much whenever you don't do your job. So remember, go and do your job, folks. Otherwise, somebody will come and destroy your entire country. Or just take it. Obviously, we've actually been playing this a little bit, so I'm just going to jump into a new game and start it up. Oh, multi so playlines. Right. So... I'm assuming with Playline, it means that if you want to, is there some generated content or generated world that's kind of gone along with it? By choosing a, a new Playline, I'm curious to know if there's actually a big difference in how I start the game. I'm madly terrified now of the knowledge that I have from my last playthrough is completely irrelevant now. Please don't let it be so. Oh, Warhorse. You've done, you've done an amazing job. Just the fact that what the world is like, how big in scope it does feel. The early 15th century was a time to turmoil for the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. But now, with his son Wenceslas on the throne, things have gone to shit. 
The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigmund of Hungary. We decided that he should take over and make it all of his own home. <laughs> that wasn't really enough time for me to do the narration of that, but... Yeah, the pre-rendered cutscenes, uh, the world, these, like, long, exploratory... Kind of, I'd seen these kind of videos as teasers for the game. I'm going, this game looks pretty. If it actually looks like this, it's going to look real good. And then, it's not that they're faux shots. They're just setting up the environment for you. It doesn't look quite like this. It looks more like this. <laughs> Whenever you actually are playing it. That's still a fairly... big... opening. Like, this is... Like, I feel like I'm going in the beginning of Deadwood, I suppose. You're, like, you're kind of like, traveling across the plains. And the first kingdom come deliverance of the world. It's not the first, it's not the last time we'll see this. It's just the fact that this is kind of getting you intro to the first part. I didn't look into the first time I was playing through this. There's actually mines underneath here. I'm assuming that you probably come back to this and use the mines in the future. Ah, uh, Lord patrolling his land, exploring them. But that's not who we're playing at. Who we play at <laughs> is a lowly, lowly, um, uh, Blacksmith's son? Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to find him the name of the job. Hey, Teresa! Uh, we've actually, I know who some of these characters are from actually playing further through the game. The relevance of actually showing some of these shots and these places makes more sense as to, uh, if you're playing through this again. So, uh, this is our dad. Well, husband, how No, that's not it? Teresa. It was her Good. mother. Ah! I should get it finished today. Look, it's like, the problem is with period dress and costume, well, there's not that many differences in some of them. I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. Mary? This hour, Mother Mary? Blue-blooded idler. Aww. Well, it looks like he was That's how every parent feels about evening, their kids. Drinking like a lord. <laughs> Aww, that's kind of sweet. Lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably the best thing to do is just beat your son. <laughs> He'll only understand things that way. Better not vex him. Now get up quick. Mm. Your breakfast is on the table. All right, all right. Wait, what's this? Hmm. Leave alone. Have you been? Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Nothing. Nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't <laughs> you? Damn you, that's kids! In that sword play, that's modern technology of swords. You know how he feels about it. We not that gameplay again, haven't you? It wasn't that. Sitting there streaming your things over the net webs. Hmm. Well, just don't cry into me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Oh, that's a class? <sighs> Stop, damn it! It's just him, him being so tired is making me tired. Quest started. Unexpected visit. Well, we've got to go and do something. So at least uh, obviously I was I was afraid that it would go be so completely different in the start of it. But yeah, everything seems to be as the same for the prologue starter -y bit anyway. So with that playline, things haven't changed. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Things, mother. Uh, pff, you know, um, we we're chatting at the tavern. Vitality though is actually kind of helpful. Mm, what am I going to lie with? I'm going to go with speech. It's just the fact that some, in the early part of the game, it feels well, like you have to convince a, a lot of people of a lot some of shit, so he was telling us what's going all the rest of this you can level up this with action. Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me, and it's connected with that scratch on your hand. 
And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Oh, my. Well, that's not particular. Um, yeah, speech. <laughs> you think he's teaching me sword fighting? Don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. I wonder why. Uh, ba -ba -ba. That's your, you have to be played. You to That's your mom if he needs any help. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Alright, well, let's get to work. Get over there. I'll buy pops. This sounds like a plan. Okay, so we're actually in the main gameplay. Literally, uh, pff, you know this. Trees up, uh, that. Just clearing out all the stuff in the house. All the important things, like all the cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. And get right away. Mm. Oh, yummy. Who love me some mum stew? Like, there is something really comforting about a mother's stew. Like, home, home, homemade vegetable soup and all that kind of crack. It's so tasty. Anything in here to... I remember what's actually inside any of these? Carts? Nah. Alright, there's no one... I'm trying to remember if there was actually anything of importance in here. Nah, I don't have a lockpick, so I can't do that. Um, Just stocking the shelves. So, let's get in and on what we've got to do. I'm going to try and keep this as brief. Oh, jeez, he ran straight into the door. Yeah, you're still a little bit drunk, lad. Uh... Oh, yeah. I was being sneaky there for some reason. <laughs> Unnecessary. Hey, Pops. Ah, uh, putting our nose back to the grindstone. Is that the name of our dad's forge? Or is that actually up, that's a start. Grind? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. That was a lord that we saw oh, riding around on the horse earlier on. I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. All right. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer. And then use the money to buy the charcoal. All right, Couldn't fair enough. Not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails to his arse. If your dad's into that sort of thing, you don't really get between him and his arse, nearly. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. Excellent. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern <laughs> on your way home. Just... I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. So in order, you should no, probably do that, Bianca. Man. Right. So make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. No, we'll get this done. Now, one of the interesting things about quests in this uh, is that if time passes, quests will cease to exist. Now, obviously, this is kind of like a mainline thing that we need to do here. We need to get down into town and work that out. There's a big keep up there. Um, actually, in fact, let's see. Could I just double check? Make sure. Oh, no, that's not the one I want. I wanted the map! I might actually go up and get the cross guard first, since I'm already here. What? Move, ya fool, ya! Jumpy, jumpy, jump. Alright, let's chat the guards. They obviously probably have for us. Now, these load screens. With you. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but I'm How sure the PC you, version probably is a bit faster. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik. <laughs> Look at me rising with me. So excited about it. In right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. Except for the woman I was with last night. <laughs> Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Let me count the ways. Where shall I start? 
Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. I like the fact that there's actually a bit of a camaraderie and jokiness between the pa the um the keep guards and the actual like local Shame people. I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. Will do. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right, that's that sorted. Run, 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 run. Ah. Running into town, running into town. Obviously got things to do, so running into town. There's the, uh, ooh, run out of breath. So yeah, we've got basic stamina system, so you have to actually kind of, like, account for that in your combat and in your, um... Your stats. They said you're going to only be able to swing so many times. A bit Dark Soulsy in that way, or, um, you know, what was I trying to think of? Where the hell? Where is this drunk old bastard? I mean, he's right there. Hmm. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Son of a bitch! Last time I was actually here, Kanesh was actually right there. Easy to find. A bit of a bollock. So I have to go hunting for this guy now. That... Uh... True enough. That'd be much worse. Yep. Yeah, so the random conversation with people in town, obviously, uh, dealers, soldiers, all that kind of stuff. Um, first, I need to find the thing I want to sell, which is the drunkard's axe and everything else. I need to actually go and annoy him. Alright, let's see if he actually pops up if I go and do something else. I've, I've done things in a slightly different order here now, so I'm curious to know if that's the reason why things are actually popping up or travel or like going a little bit differently. You can't be serious, Torch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kukura. I like the fact that Why not? what's going on, what history, culture, the things are going on, why are actually being explained by a bunch of people in the bar. The German counts elected it Rupert is of the Palatinate tell, don't show, but in a way it works. Would not go to their deeds even. Also a difference between uh, nationalities of people within this empire. I'll be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about? So angry he annoyed the chicken. Ends. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? <laughs> do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Winston is the like one of the things like, right, which Bohemian pope do you mean? On his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander in chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he keeps you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Most likely. Your beard will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch. This is pointless. Yeah, so it's one of those things where there's a little bit of a pretense. People assume that he's going to actually be on a certain person's side just because of his nationality. So, Deutsch is I don't know. Uh, you can see prejudices amongst people. Oh, it's all good. It's, oh, it's good, nice and crunchy lore that's going idea. on. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too wide, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <laughs> Jesus. Do you want to end Thug. up in the pillory? Is he got a balding spot in the top, too? I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> the dude's acting like Dark King Ryan from Achievement Hunter. He's like, let's just throw some Count shit on end. it. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds all day. You know what? Fuck that. I'm not getting involved saying, in this. Because I just don't want any shit on but my I hands. Literally. My father and a, a few other things. Wishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Hmm. Change the topic. 
Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not gonna take all. You're trying to wash it off, mate. It's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? No! No, go fuck yourselves! No! I ain't throwing shit at somebody's house. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's one of the things where I'm like, I really have to think about this. It's gonna take me some time to think. Let me load over that idea. Just to make sure. Hmm. Throw shit. Don't throw shit. Throw shit. Don't throw shit. It's such a hard choice to make! God damn, he really is thinking about it. No, I won't do it! Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. And that's not how an opinion that's I had. I actually think Deutsch is actually going, fine, you're going to express his opinion as he likes. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Chance to do what? Have mischief? Fuck off! Gentlemen? Hey, hang on a second. Here's a question. Where the hell's Bianca? That's not Bianca. Well, I thought it was her for a second, but it wasn't. So I need to find Bianca to actually be able to get the eel, so I'm assuming she must be in the bar here somewhere. Oh god, it's so dark. <laughs> um, yeah, Bianca! There you are. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Well, you do, obviously. It's the day after Valentine's Day. I am going to court my love. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else in the hay? your worship desire? I need ale. But father told me to go and see Kunesh first. I see. So shouldn't you be doing that then? But I needed to gather strength by looking at your beauty. Oh, you charmer! <laughs> Henry, you buffoon! <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's actually goddamn sweet. I think that was absolutely goddamn adorable. So yeah, uh, so we still need to find Kunch, Kunesh. I thought we might have actually had a tab that we could have worked with, but no. Oh, there he is. I went to the wrong building. That is exactly what went wrong. Hey. You're doing a really poor job of cutting that wood. Oh, damn, man. That was so close to your finger. All right, I've got to take that off you just for your own safety. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Jesus. You're not exactly polite. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. <laughs> pay for the lot or else, man. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard. Or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Hey, fuck right off, lad. Look. I know things aren't. <laughs> it's just the fact that it's a blatant insult. You're as much use as a square wheel. Fuck you! It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt. Get the fuck! You can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing. Well, leave me in peace, all of you. What? Wait, what? Whenever I played this last time, I had to actually... Piff. How about you just fuck right off? Do you want to fuck you? I'm going in here. I'm gonna fucking take them? Are you serious? What do you think you're doing? Doing this? Well, Knocking you out? <laughs> Very effective. Stay down. Thank you.
I'm a criminal. I am a rogue. The guy owes me money, so I'm going to take it all. I should also poison his pot. Where is this stuff? Hmm. A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Oh, okay, really? Jesus. <sighs> is that Fritz? No, it doesn't. Okay. So Fritz is the one of the lads that we were hanging out with earlier. So I might have to actually go and hang and grab them. Last time I saw them, they would have been down here. Hey, there we go. It's making a mess. Oh god. Wait, what? Fritz, dude! Why can't I talk to any of you guys? Ugh! Hunt down things? So... Bum, bum, bum. Like charcoal. Like build tavern. I have no idea where Fritz is now. That is a problem. Hmm. So now I've already changed what I was going to do. Um, last time I actually had to get in a fight with Kanesh. What the hell is Fritz going to be? That's the question. Uh, the problem is whenever you start making changes, whenever you start doing things a little bit differently, stuff goes wrong. Um, right, hang on. Maybe I can do something else. If I go to one of these cellars. Some Hello, trader. Thank you. And I'll sell the axe. How are you? I am good, sir. And I'm going to try and sell the axe. It's worth three gold. That should be enough. And anything else I need? I don't really need that, so I can actually sell it to those. That should give me enough cash. And I can go buy. I'm not going to buy. I think I'm going to actually sell that, so I wanted to go paint that. Uh, check basket. And haggle. Whoop, whoop. Can we do something about the price? Why not? Excellent! Haggling, haggling. So, 20? Um, are you serious? You won't give me any... Fuck that! I just want to take the money that's worth? Who only has 20 on him? <sighs> Son of a bitch! Uh, let's talk trade. I'll try it again and see if I actually get the full value of my cash. I only have to give him one of those. Uh, chick basket, and haggle. <laughs> if we only has twenty, I only have to sell like one to them. discuss the price. Makes a little bit more sense. Aye. <sighs> Aye, we do indeed. There we go. Is this enough? Close. Drop the price a bit more, and we'll shake on it. Really? Ah, uh, uh, fine. Nineteen point five. That's a sum I can live with. Deal done! Happy days. I don't actually have to get Kanesh's thing off him because I knocked him out and took his axe instead. <laughs> so many ways to do the same thing. Uh, charcoal burner. Good day. Good day to you too, sir. Hey. So I need to buy ten of those. Uh, check basket and haggle again. It's always worth a haggle. Can we do? Oh damn! Price. Sure, why not? See, this is the kind of glitch that you pop up into when the dialogue. Uh, someone could just hit the position. Four or five. That sound okay? Are we agreed? Well, now a little more and we'll shake on it. Ugh, God, fine. That's a sum I can live with. We had options there. <laughs> Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back a different way. Eh, don't really need to worry about that. 
to I don't have to actually do the axe hammer nails. All I needed was the actual axe itself. A pitcher for father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual. Yay! Thank you. Aye. Also very dark. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. God, <laughs> so dark, so very very dark. It's like whenever you go to the black screen, it's hard to tell. Don't whenever you eat indoors. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> You can pay me back this evening. Okay. Out of the question. Also, you're clipping through the door, dear. And this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. It's Thanks. deep dicking. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow looking after you. Vanyak. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. Oh, shit. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. I didn't even think about that, but Vanyak, I didn't think he was a bandit. What are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. I'll be seeing oh. a lot more of you this I evening. something special for you. Aw. Is that so? Now, what would that be? A blumpkin. Your favorite. Save your schnapps. Oh, really? You're an angel. <laughs> so that's what the saving mechanic in this is. Unlike uh, Resident Evil typewriter, typewriter ribbons, it's actually uh, save your snaps. So it's alcohol that gets you fucked up and saves your game. Great combination, to be honest. <laughs> I've always found alcohol makes me feel that a little bit better. Oh, uh, where's Vanyak? Uh, yeah, that'd be him that comes on here. I already know who he is. Combat Master Vanyak. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Just but a scratch. Oh, Except mother Don't flesh wound. had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Damn right you do, boy. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck Let's in? Let's get stuck in. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheep fold as <laughs> Just in case, we might actually stab a couple of sheep while we're at it. So, uh, next to the sheep fold is... I mm, can't even remember where that is. Off my head. Yes, that's it. Aha! This way. Hello, lady. Down here. Oh, wait, hang on. Where is it? What was there? Maybe it's down here. Oh, running through the grass. Huh? Oh, it's just a gap to the top. Yeah, is that it? God damn it! I'm <laughs> my. Even though I've already played this bit, I'm actually. Oh, it's up there. Uh... That's where it is. <laughs> Not where I was thinking. Oh. Oh. Nope, can't get up there. Hang on. Oh. Nope, can't get up there. Beat me up here. Sorry, I came the long way. What is it? So, can we get started? Yes, we can. we can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Which is not all that much, but enough to actually get through the basic combat. So essentially, this is your basic combat tutorial. Very I would have actually already gotten into hand-to-hand -hand combat already, but that's um. Keep moving. Your because I would have, would have gotten fight with Kanesh. But you're never really going to want to do that. Combat in this is a bit much. Uh. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. Put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Do you actually have like different stances? So you'd be swinging from one side. Mm. Uh, not bad. Uh. Good. 
Okay. That's slashing. Point to the blade is for stabbing. Tried a few times. Oh, stab. What the? Stab the face. Stab low. Stab the side. Good, good. Let's try something else. Okay. One strike, I can fend off. Boya, 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 boya. Strikes. I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. Ha. Ha. Very good. Ha. Ha. Oh. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. Ah, oh, right in the kisser. There we go. That was our first combat lesson. Pretty much all the combat is actually directional with that kind of starship, and you end up actually swinging high, low, left, or right. It's uh, it feels a bit weird to actually do, but you know, it's it's tolerable. Obviously, we're going to run back up to the house now. Uh, but yeah, because we already got everything we need. We did in the end. We didn't get the hammer and nails back from, but we took his wood. It took his wood axe by knocking him out. We're we'll obviously probably getting in trouble for that, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, like because I didn't get in trouble the last time because we got into a fight over an argument. Me just knocking his bitch ass out solved me a little bit of hassle because that took me forever to do the first time because I didn't even know the combat and just went like, right now you're in a fist fight. Crap. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yeah, it was the eel. Yeah, it was the eel. It was the charcoal. It was the cross guard. Yep, we got started. The charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. I'm really, I really enjoy the characterizations in this. Right. Um, it does feel a bit so slow paced like in its actual Master introduction. Now, now, obviously, it does pick up in pace a fair bit fairly quickly whenever you see what's going on here. But um, the cutscenes are well put that. together. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. There is a living world. Inscription, me. Damn if I know. Looking pretty. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe. Lord Rudzig ordered it. Czech or Latin. This will be the finest sword Ooh, I've ever made. Too. Have we got the charcoal? So well, one of those things I actually really enjoy watching uh, sword crafting videos together. on YouTube. I uh, highly recommend a few of them. Uh, they do, there's a lot of ones that do the fantasy swords. I'm on the Bed Kingdom Come. Do you know that's on? Warhorse should really kind of commission those guys to make this sword. By the way, kind of an important one in the game so far. About what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something that's about it. a relevant it. functional one, really? Maybe. Maybe. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime washed housemaid. And on the do of it. Maybe those cronies of yours had something to do Looks with like it. Like they did. Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. That son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. I wouldn't understand. imagine it would. Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. I'm sure you Good. do, son. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? You can say whatever the fuck they like. It's just words, and they'll probably get caught for it. Say. So Deutsch bouts with me, so what? So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. <laughs> Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. And that's why I took speech. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I love why, it's just the fact that they don't do clink, clink, clink. Look, the sword is finished. They actually are walking through the steps of actually putting the take it out, guard onto it. You slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do you actually take a piece of wood and actually burn through it to actually uh, make it a, a perfectly tight grip on it? It's amazing to actually watch whenever it's being done. God, I would love to go back to actually having a blacksmithing class do and doing this kind of stuff. God, that's got to be hot in your hands too. Good. Although wood, Once more. I suppose wood doesn't actually like transfer that much heat. That's it. 
Done. Right through the thing. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. I suppose, I mean, so there's actually a woodcrafting skill to that as well, of actually making a good grip, because you want a grip that actually fits to the hand well, and then over time the user itself will actually kind of like wear it down. All you have to do is actually make sure you've got, you're not under-gripping it, or over-gripping oh, it, where you actually don't have a full hand all around it, or you're actually not digging your Who own... Who ever heard of a own, master swordsmith uh, making uh -huh. horseshoes in a village? <laughs> and then I suppose you're actually going to be wearing gauntlets? I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You were Emperor Charles. I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war, he knew how to rule. That is, well, I mean, essentially, if you're going to be a ruler of any sort, if you're going to be a politician, if you can actually list your achievements like that, when you get all those things, it doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of. Someone who's born only once a thousand years. Like I said, you can't judge what somebody because of the fact that their family did extremely well before them. Do you think Charles would brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Goddamn warmongers. Give it here. And we'll put it all together. Boom! Like a glove! And that crushes a little bit of the wood, I imagine, and then that kind of makes a better seal from the bottom of the top. It's Pretty magnificent. Sword. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh, I know. Room. I already have them in my pocket. <laughs> I'm planning ahead. Making sure to cover everything. Hi, Teresa. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. What did you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? Yeah. Will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on the way. Oh, Teresa, so you are so kind. Mwah. You're my new love. <laughs> Look at that chewing gum rock. So wriggly. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. War is old. Bamboo. Sliced with a sword. It's all test. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. I'm used to shooting horses now. Your skills. Smelling them dumb. Nice. Just the tip. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. <laughs> this is this the fact that uh, like, his lord is actually a little bit more like, oh, yeah, yeah, look boy. Have you got any of your father's talent? Nope, not a bit. You have no idea what you're doing. You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? What the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. <laughs> just How checking along its length. And such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad uh -huh. to listen to I it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Well, we bid you. 
A Jew, then. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Is it taking a foot or setting a foot? Is that actually Once like the way that kind of like meal curtsy? Good work, Martin. Sure. Thank you, Sir Radzik. It's been an honor, Sir Ispan. Have a safe journey to Sasso. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. And of course, Thank I hear my face. I'll probably be there at some point. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Should be good to know. Teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said. Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. <laughs> Isn't that Talking just quite nihilistic? A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. <laughs> I want to end my days <laughs> in uh, Scalitz. I, do, I don't want yeah. to actually be carrying around my body. Like. tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, well, like other one people. day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Call me, a little from Colin B. No need to learn swordplay. Yeah. Well, that never bodes well, does it? A messenger. Somebody racing on the way. What's happened? Yep. Shit is about to get fucked. So yes. Welcome to where the deliverance from evil and pain actually begins of this car of this character's deal. Son of a bitch with a mustache. Well, I could cosplay as him. Just be a matter of like just shaving the rest of this off. The work. That would be absolutely terrifying to see coming down on you for no reason. Hours of death, hours of doom. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Oh, Jesus. This does not end well. Oh, there is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. Run! I'm trying to wonder what it was that was inside the bag that your father said you to get that was important enough to tell you to go and get that. But yeah, but your dad's a badass. <laughs> it's like one of those things like grab mom and run. Boom! Down you go. Fuck you! Your dad's got enough uh, badass in him. He's like, I have no qualms about Gurn killing all these people. But that doesn't help. That's a problem. Now the tunics not really that helpful against slashes. Oh, 
It's just, it's a kind of sad thing to sit and watch. Hmm. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'll stay with you. Oh, I am memorizing your face, motherfucker. I am going to set fire to your face and remove that mustache. I will take your honor and then I will take your head. Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Hal? Never thought about that. Hal Jordan, Henry Jordan? Hal. I don't think we can do that. Find a horse! Ride to town, Merc! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Oh, shit! Run by the moats! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Run! Bye, I'm taking your sword. And take a deep breath and run. Oh, that's right. Load screens. Load screens. Load screens. Load screens. Our favorite friends, the load screen. Isn't that delightful? It's great to load. Run! Quest, run! Run like a bitch! Uh, <laughs> just vomiting from the actual screen. It's the fact that he actually, I'm doing the pant noise and they actually do it as part of the game anyway. Alright. Gallop as fastest. Well, we're gonna want to gallop anyway. Oh, uh, get on the horse and get the fuck out of dodge. Get on the horse. Uh, get on the. There we go. Oh, uh, give her her head. There we go. Keep running. Don't stop for anything. Right. So obviously we're breaking the hell out of time and we're running for the nearest base that we can't survive. Um, there's no reason to stop and fight. I've, I've tried. I've tried a number of times. And I got my ass beat over and over again. You may see that in a little bit of a field video that I'll probably... Oh, damn, I forgot about this. A field video I'll do as soon as I possibly can. But as you can see... <laughs> You gotta run. You're going to actually stabbed, shot, and killed in some way, shape, or form if you do not keep running. And it will keep loading you back into the same spot where you will die. Again. And again. And again. One time I actually didn't move after actually loading back into that screen. And I got chased down and killed. Oh, Jesus. Go, 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 go. No! God damn it, horse! Why are you stuck? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yep, it's not happening. Get out of my way, you motherfuckers! Oh, Jesus. Ugh, Ravna has been destroyed. Not a good thing. Keep riding, keep running. Seeing this bitch being completely burned to the ground. I'm not gonna get a chance to. Like, I mean, these guys are still chasing me. Right. I'm not out of the woods the yet. Left, along the stream. Go! They'll kill you all! Yep, keep warning those people. I'm bleeding out as well from the injuries I've received, so I literally have to keep running. I might not make it to where I need to be because the horse is probably going to get exhausted from the amount of beatings it's taken. Yeah, I know, horse. -o. I know, I know. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. I know you're not happy about it, but you need to keep running. I know a 
what's gonna kill you, uh, horse. But you gotta help me, you gotta keep moving. Cause I am gonna bleed out. Flee! Flee, yes, fucking flee! <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, I know you're not happy. I know you're not happy, but I'm almost out of health. Oh. As you can tell, the game is... In line two. As you can tell... Things are frustrating if you can't make it out of there. Now, I'm known for a fact that's going to take me back as far as... It's only going to take me back as far as the horse, as me leaving town and actually like being on the horse, and that wee bark that I got trapped in. That is fucked, though. I mean, it's like you're not facing the right direction to get across there quickly. <sighs> yeah, this, is where the, this is where the time crunch of this game can actually take away. Especially in this prologue chapter, it's, ma it's making it very clear that there's no, like, you, you don't have a massive chance of survival in this early part of the game. It's gonna take you a long while before you can actually get to the point of actually- Oh no! N oh you mother f So yes, I did this a few times. Uh, it's just the fact that literally it makes sense because the relevancy of all this going horribly wrong. I mean, I'm not even going to take a look to see at the lady over there. Like these guys are raping and pillaging over to the right hand side. I'm not even going to look at them. I can't look at them. I don't have time to. If I look at them, I'm dead. I don't have the time to actually make this not my problem. Get on the fucking horse. Go, go. Keep running, you fool! The problem is now I still have to see that same cutscene again. I want to skip it, uh, hopefully reduce the load time, but that is frustrating. Uh, yeah, skip all. Good. Skip all. Skip all. I want to try a different route. I'm not going to try and because the problem was I was actually not facing the right way to take that first quick turn. Oh, Jesus. I need to find some way across that river as quick as I can. So if there's a left, I need to take a left as soon as I can. Yep, there we go. That makes more sense. Ah, oh, good. Good. Oh, well, God, is that actual kind of beat? And the thing is, the reason why I was actually running out of momentum with a horse is because it had been injured as well. So at least our hells are both sitting left. a little bit higher now. All I'm just worrying about is it actually way. running out. But I'm pretty sure we can just run this now. There we go. I know the route that I need to take now. Running, 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 <laughs> running to a town to sell them that they're all gonna die. Come on, horse boy. Come on. Get up. Oh, Jesus. Go. Fuck go. off, would you? Like, there is no escaping them. They are chasing my ass down. I mean, if there was a way to look 180 back behind me without losing the momentum on my horse. Oh, God, please. Keep go, Jesus, horse, go! Jesus, yeah. come on! <laughs> oh, God damn it. Horse, go! Go, horse! Run, run, the fact that I'm giving it, I'm directing the horse, it did say earlier on that you can give the horse a heading and then you can look back and ride you know, and it'll follow, the horse will follow a path. But I don't feel like it's actually doing that for me, so I'm having to hold the direction while the horse runs. 
Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's not good news, I know. But just keep running for now, please. Keep running! Do it! Oh, good grief, there we go. Oh. Literally being chased the entire way. So it's obviously uh, showing that that's the uh, the design of the armors and the language that they are uh, like soldiers uh, from another country. So um, get your asses out! Was it the Tartars? So the, actually, the, I can't remember what they actually refer to in the story. Like, what they talk more about? Thank you. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. But as you can see, um, I actually died still. Even though I thought this was going to be the fastest run I could do of this section of the game, I uh, still got killed on the way out. Such it's such a simple thing. To, it's just because I didn't choose. Not, I chose to take a slightly different route. Someone give him a drink. Even though I'm I bring hot wine and bandages. Wine! I need wine! It cures all eels. Tell me more. it's wine. I'm Who are you? <laughs> and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? This is like an assumption that's being made, but... Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Oh. Yeah, medieval surgery. Let's rock and roll. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. <laughs> this is the pain knocks your ass out. It's in the Easy. bone! All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> don't need it was a black smith's friends until before. I took an arrow to the War knee. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? <laughs> <laughs> Dude's got strength though. I was like, yeah, that go. was a very Thank quick you. lift from the ground. Thank you. Oh, dude. If you idlers have nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> he didn't actually like get pulled in directly. He literally was like, huh? there you go, boy. Why, well, hello there, Lord Divish. You seem to be quite comfortable. This is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly Dude, happened? This guy's voice. Did canon. you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground, but a lot of people refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough, and as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to hunt Cumans of the Sigismund. East, and now they're the core right, of his enough. army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scallops is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. Oh, I'm pretty sure you are. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry. 
son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. Henry, I'm I blacksmith. Know him. I'm Scalas. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your to warn us. Damn right. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to after for the worst. The pragmatist, all the necessary dude. arrangements. You command, sir. He should be the king. Ow. 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 Everything does not bode well for Henry. He's already, he's already lost his family. He's lost his town. He's stuck in a place with a busted up leg. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, I'm not well. Oh, oh, I'm not standing on my feet here. Oh, oh. Yeah, Robert, I, I, I need to heal up here. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your... You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Unless I upchuck it, so... Uh... I heard about your must. I hear you they came from Scarlet's today. It must have been terrible there. Ooh. I can't understand why he'd waste his talent, but I'm sure he did. He had a fine reputation. Oh, right. So you knew my father. Interesting. So it's one of those things where your father appears to actually have a well-known enough name, so if you actually do point out who you are, I imagine, in the future, you might get the benefit out of it. Uh, I'm the lady. You are fortunate our good lady, Steph Tomberg, has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honoured. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. Both, <laughs> Indeed. Both. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Damn right! Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> drinky, 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 drink. It's one of the things where everybody just seems to be just casually going to spill things. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. Lady. That's very much appreciated. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, yes madam. Even you, though I'm lady. got a damaged leg, God but I still take a bow. Kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, teach the man a little bit of etiquette. But my feet, they smell so bad! So, so bad! Okay, um, I imagine I can eat, yeah? Uh, I'm not gonna eat from the pot, there's actually food here for me. I'll take the roost duck, uh, a little bit more roost duck, and uh, all the roost duck. Mm. Oh god. Mm. Get some cheese, mate. Mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 please. Mm. Mm. Right. And what's this? Dental mash? Oh, I'll have some of that. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh. Oh, please eat some of that food from the pot. Oh, oh. Eat. Thank you. Food. Feels so much better. Right. I've eaten the food. I'm going to go and have a nap. It's been a long day. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, I believe this is my quarters for the evening. Um, good night, everyone. Sleep well. I'm just going to close the door here. And good night. Whew. 
I lost my ma, lost my pa, lost my town, lost everything. <sighs> Let's just lay our head down to sleep. Whew. Just a nap. Just a, just a little nap. Ugh. So dark. Oh, all right, night time. Today the right. patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. Can't sleep. Tartars will eat me. Can't sleep. Tartars will eat me. Yes. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, not at all, Lady. My lady, uh, um... A late night visit from the Lady no, of the Manor? No, not at all. Hmm. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Damn right! It's just what you need. I mean, pretty much, how many times have we drank wine? Right, so we've got... My lady. <laughs> we've been drinking wine and ale all day. <laughs> of one meal. You really shouldn't. Yeah, I suppose it keeps you running. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have my been. My lady, this you. is very inappropriate. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. You well, did care about her back in the day. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. Yes, madam. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Uh -huh. I know what it is left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. I, I mean, not really. I mean, it is extremely, extremely open wound. I mean, literally, it is an open wound. Very fresh. Unbelievably fresh. I'm pretty sure it hasn't stopped bleeding, actually. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. Well, let's be honest with the lady. The day started That's just the important like thing. Father sent me into town on some errands. Aw, talkie I went talkies. to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. My girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Aw. Oh, dear boy. <clears throat> When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. Uh, Chad, you're getting weird again. He sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only he'd known what fate had in store for us. Ah, uh, the fit is only in the stars. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Well, still the truth. I Not a saying a single thing wrong. From a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. The gate to the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. 
I ran to the castle like just our such neighbors a comforter, to take cover, and it's just but I didn't make it. He's telling the whole story of like pretty much my day sucked. I mean, we're all very aware of it, but this is actually all the point of saying this stuff is to kind of warn you. convince her towards our side. I, I was imagine. lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Huh. Siege of Vienna. I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started preparing for siege. No doubt, you're right. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Oh, it was Teresa? No! No! I wanted to help Poor her. girl. God knows I wanted to, but... Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh, man. That's terrible. I didn't, re I didn't like realize, I didn't think about the last time I was playing through it, that it was actually Treasus that got attacked. God alone knows why he let such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Eh, it's very, very, uh, I mean, do remember, like, this is faith actually um, not the Holy Roman Empire kind of me. practice going on around it. my husband so. either. Yeah, you... Plenty of people are going to be talking about a heavily, heavy amount of faith in the good of people, but at the same time, it's like, people are assholes, too. I was young too. when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. I do like the fact that Shortly there's little codexes marriage, on women in medieval history. There's, there's, there's a lot of background the reading to be learned and my husband about the culture and the people of the time and how relevant it is, especially if you look at it My through a very modern had lens. My some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Vak, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. Ugh. Typical, normal, That's just awful. being locked in your own house. Housebound by a quarter trial. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. It's one of those things where it seems to be yes, like that actually is a very relevant Seven historical years. event that you could probably look up to. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle. Yes, Josiah, it is a game. My husband. It's a game indeed. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me, an infirm old man. Damn, they like only had seven years life left in them? So Divish seems huh. like a good strong I'm sure she's got a little bit disappointed. Certainly. It's not good enough. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. And you're the most exciting thing that has actually arrived into this place in such a time. You're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering I'm you I'm sorry, with this? Just, uh, you missed out this thing. There's been a lot of people own. showed up recently. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. 
good night. And God bless. Aww. Good night, my lady. Did he take off his dirty shoes? He was told to take off his goddamn dirty ass shoes before he got onto that bed. You learned more about women in the Middle Ages. Yes, yes, indeed we did. We did indeed. So, what's next? Oh, nightmares. Nightmare visions of shit going wrong. Move it, people! Come on, come on, we got a time! Oh. Uh, mother. Father! Teresa! Bianca! Dutch? Oh. Oh, that's that's a horrible misremembering of the events because they didn't know he. Oh, no! Don't guilt yourself. You could have done nothing. Henry, wake up! You don't want to miss this. What is it? Okay, happening? good. As long as it's taking me out of my nightmares. Moment. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. To the battlements by the gateway stairs. Okay. I take torch from the table while we're at it. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> I love the bitter irony of the fact that I'm actually playing the game right now and an update, a patch, has already like literally just came out. <laughs> I not do this. That away! I took my sword out. Probably not a good move. Did Robard actually close the door behind himself on the way through? Man has a lot of manners in him. Okay. Alright, gateway stairs. Straight up here. Okay. Uh, oh shit, what's going on? Okay, what's going on down here? Um, people hanging around a lot. Some guys with weapons prepared for combat. I shriveled up with the hunger. Listen up. Am I hungry? If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Okay, good. Um. Hey, you. Rubard, what's going on? Things like. There's a lot of trouble have brewing. Um, should we really still be here? Should I be up here? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. Ah, uh, we he'd don't have to hold the castle for quite some time. Hey, Hydraulic, yes. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Came updates during a 30 minute cutscene. I mean, the fact that at least updates are coming through and Not it doesn't interrupt my game. That's okay. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm stopped. stall the next time I could turn this off. And you were right. Probably remove some of those bugs around as you already. Sigismund a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of areas. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Oh, I'm oh, sure we will. we will. Now give me my bow. If I see that mustache, you motherfucker. <laughs> you killed my father. Prepare to die. Click. <laughs> Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Antic! What a relief! Oh, is that's his right. lordship there with you? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? I it just wanted to take the air! Scramble, all right. Can we have this banter another time? It's very rainy out here! Men. Grandad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. 
He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Although I don't know if this conversation should be held between us but in such a public friend, and venue. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. Oh, sir. If Sigismund it's so, come, so cold. Better so bend your knee, David. Very, very no cold. Point dying in a battle so cold. Are. You're right there. Is that boy still chat. with you? Chat, don't start fights with the rest of the chat. I'm here, sir. Courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and the father. The table just appeared out of nowhere. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. <laughs> Are you tired of living? But sir, quiet! Ah, uh, donkey. It's an insult that lasts in the father. time of ages. You You're getting donkey. killed as well. Well, like. help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quiet and down. Fuck you, dude! Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> An inside joke between I us all! Because he locked me up, didn't he? Well, thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Toodaloo! Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark time. And a dark night. Move out! Can you throw us down some more torches, actually? Right, conversation had with Robard. Have triple patrols. Sort of the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. Fuck, I believe him too. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? Whew. I believe him. It sounds like he really does mean, like, I will kill anybody who leaves us undefended. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my Of men? course! Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Excellent. Uh, Damn it, I'm hungry. So, you know what? I'm actually going to eat some food. So, I'll keep the cheese. It's worth money. Uh, what can I eat otherwise? Oh, lentil mash. Eat that shit. And... Did I bring any other food? I've just got cheese. That's all I got. Either way, I'll survive. La -da -da -da. Gents. Da, 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 da. Wondering, wondering, wondering now. Wondering, uh, wondering. Don't you start. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually. You're still hungry, you fat fuck? You just had some lentil mash! Hello over there! I see your torches! Are you okay? I can see nothing! Hmm. Ooh! Uh, that actually does help. If you actually take the porch away, you can still see a bit of the skyline better. Keep an eye out. Just in the darkness. So, uh, what I might do... Yes. <laughs> Keep a close eye on everything. Yes, sir. I will take off my night glasses and put on my day glasses. Aha! 
I can see so much more now. <laughs> I wear the cheese. The cheese does not wear me. I wear the cheese. The cheese does not wear me. Okay. Um. Hmm. Right. Well, close my men. Not really being given now. A walking pattern to go around. So we might just chill. Wandering around like a straight must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. Oh, much appreciated. Well, thank you. Okay, so wait until morning. I feel quite hungry. I'm still hungry? God damn it, man! Eat more cheese! Eat the cheese! Eat the cheese! Eat the cheese! Eat the cheese! There we go. 65. Ah, we're good. I'm assuming I got some nourishment from that in some way, shape, or form. Oh, the roof's stuck! We'll go for that too. There we go. I'm full of food now. I've eaten too much. Right. Crap. <laughs> well, we have to wait until dawn. So, uh... Let's just wait until then. There we go. Time has passed. I actually wanted to watch the sunrise, so I'm kind of like, I'm stopping it just before sunrise. Oh god damn, it's still quite dark. <laughs> but I suppose right, which direction is east? The sun will be rising over here. So hmm. Maybe I should have waited an hour a wee while before actually. Alright, I'm just gonna wait, I'm gonna wait the next hour just. And ding! Chicken's done! <laughs> so time does pass naturally if your hour sitting is completely still. But it seems to be not one to one, but you know. Whoa, shit! Alright, that was a bit of a difference. So yeah, literally watching the sunrise. So yeah, um, a little bit easier to see what's going on around here, Tier. Like, oh, yes, I can. Ah, I am so curious. Can I die up here? Uh, invisible walls. Uh, invisible wall. Yep, invisible wall. <laughs> Just making sure. Sunrise. Of the glorious sights of the city. Look at that. That's a pretty sky, actually. Hmm. Line myself with a torch. No, oh, that doesn't make that much difference now. Uh, so what was up in here? Oh, um, I will backpedal now. Go. Hmm. Oh. 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 Ah, damn it. Our guard. Still waiting here, just chilling out the rest of the morning. Um. <clears throat> I suppose. Oh, I wear the cheese. I'm out of that in a meme. You'll um, you put that in a meme. I wear the cheese. It does not wear me. If you know, if you can get, if actually chat, if you can guess that reference, you're as old as I am. I wear the cheese. The cheese does not wear me. I wear the cheese. The cheese does not wear me. Hmm. Daylight, come and me one go home. Day! It's a day, it's a day, it's a day, oh. Daylight, come and me one go home. Day! Good night, don't drink of rum, 
Daylight come and me one go home. Sister tell him and tell him me banana. Daylight come and me one go home. Hey, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day, oh. Daylight come and me one go home. Hey, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day, oh. Daylight come and me one go home. It is actually daytime. Yay! Yay! Oh shit. Noises? Uh. Hmm. Oh shit! Uh, okay, shit! Um. Um, um, um. Uh, ah! <laughs> Easiest way out. This way. Run like the wind! I have to do a full lap back around the battlements to get back to where I need to be. <laughs> Why did I sit in the far end of the building? No. Oh god, I'm just, I'm just gonna make some cheese vomits here. Hey! Right, we made it. Oh, this shit is about to hit the fan. Yay! This is like the guy who went from like uh, Hiroshima to Nagasaki, like just one after another, and was present for both explosions essentially. You know, it's like, oh, I literally just walked out of the frying pan and right into the fucking blazing fire. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. That's mustache, bitch! I don't think he will set his... I will end you! Today. Not you. You! You! Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. You killed my father. We tried to death. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? Uh. Holy shit, he's a paladin! I think he's actually standing there with a mace in his hand. Like, Come in the name of Bitch is a paladin. Lund, Makes sense. He is a proper paladin. King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Veselas the Fourth. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estate. Yeah, I was going to say the logic doesn't Greetings, really work. Greetings, Sir Mark Fart. The efforts of the king's brother. To bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. Dude is the best politician I've ever it heard. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. There is nothing here. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. Oh, oh. So what do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. The Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Damn! Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. What well, at least they're finding know, some excuse and noble, pretense. Sir, where he might be at this time. As far uh -huh. as I know, <laughs> the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. <laughs> or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Humble brag! Am I to this inform my manner. <laughs> that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of being embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. Oh, sorry, chat. I'll actually make an updated uh, Discord link to, to go the underneath us right after this video. I hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed 
even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. <sighs> Damn. Fair Damn. Up, sir. Damn. Ooh, that is a man who can teach you kingcraft. I vote for Divinish or Divish for king. That is, that dude knows how to talk. <laughs> Did he just? I like the fact that he's like he just turned back an army with words alone. Your father has not been proven more correct in any time. Hey, Sigismund. How much of an asshole are you? <laughs> Talked out of fucking attacking the castle because he's just like, you got, you got dissed. Like, oh, you don't believe that you need to attack us, do you? I mean, we're, we're not even an obstacle to you. My lord, are we? you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, robot. Get on with you, <laughs> <laughs> to my bed chambers litters, robot. We'll talk then. Oh, effective. Woo! Hey, fuck you, guy. Ugh. Mark Vat von Olitz. I'll remember that name, Mark Vart. Right, so bury your loved ones in skulls, talk to Robart, and get a horse? I brought a horse with me! But, but uh, Robart, yo! Are you serious? Yeah, I have a conversation with you, bro. Good health to you. Good health to you too, sir. Um. I need to get the Scalots. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalots. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh, no. It... I need... My parents died there. I need I to get out of there. To be ravaged by I have to bury them. I have to bury them. Ark! Good God, so boy. begins a battle. Do you want to throw to get out of this those goddamn who can never fort? Get theirs back. Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Uh, I don't want to know anymore. So essentially, the situation is that uh, I am now trapped in Talm Talmberg, and I need to try and find my way out of this place. Now the big problem is that the um, the only method that I knew of previous to this to get out was one of two things. Either convince the guy here at the gate that I'm a soldier by wearing the right... <laughs> Alright, so I was just letting you guys chat in the chat in between each other. Uh, this guy at the gate, I have to convince him that I need to get out of here. I need but, to get out of here. Um, the only way I can do so is actually and to rest. I need a feather bed with Ooh, a common no, wench in it. Um, I need to actually like be able to dress as a Sir Divish guard or as a soldier of Talmberg to get past him. Especially are not to be let out. Um, the only way I have known to do so, not by my parents. Ooh. Not any longer. I have vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scalet's people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to leave immediately, so let me out quickly. Damn! A likely story. Better clear off before I lose my temper. I have to bury my parents, you fuck! In scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, well, my works. friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Mm, I'll try and think All something right, up. We'll see what I can do. Oh, so I know what I need to do. I need to actually get myself uh, dressed up as a soldier of Talmberg. But the only way I knew to do that was to steal the equipment of a Talmberg soldier. Now, a couple options were given were uh, get somebody who's fallen asleep and then get in through that way. Uh, get out that way. And the only way I can think to do so is to... Well, for a start, come in here and disturb the lady while she's in her bed. Hi. Um, are you awake? 
I can't knock you out, but you're still asleep. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you're awake. Okie dokie. So that's okay. I, I scared her out of her bed. She was laying there like, Jesus Christ. What do you need? Um, I have to get the scouts. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? I have to bury my parents. My parents are lying in the mud of Skull at the mercy I'm of gonna keep repeating it to people. Jackdaws. Kind of a simple I thing. Just leave them there. Success! Terrible. Hey! May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just cast the guard at the gate somehow. But, but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you, and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Um, ba -ba -bam. may have to pay a bribe. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need Gotta money. Bury damn parents. Unfortunately, we can bury damn parents. Money. We can actually we get this. Uh, oh, I will actually play as far as that I'm event in this playthrough. It. I'm gonna this bury my parents, and then we're gonna stop it. But I oh god, it's it. taking so long to get there. I will repay you. I swear. Woo! That's a lots of monies. Um, where can I get armor? And where can I get the armor? At the armory. <laughs> Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Right. So I need Thank to find you, guards that are I sleeping. And <laughs> look like Tom Burke's soldier. Right. First, I need to actually get the armor. Um, the way I think, the things I do know about is that there is a shield up in one of the other rooms. Mm, you nosy. Here. I don't think I actually came in here before. Did I? Ah, eh, they're all lockpicks. Now my lockpicking skill is garbage and it's the easiest way to get into somewhere. I actually tried to lock pick a door a couple of times and I was very unsuccessful about uh, getting that done. So um, I'm not probably not going to try that method again because it takes, uh, like it's one of the things where the lock picking system in this is weird as balls. Uh, you have to actually hold one uh, analog stick in a position and then move to not try to actually get that Jeez. out of my way. So I need to actually get in through this door into the armory here. It's an easy lock pick, but the only way to get into it is Lockpicking was in plain view of everybody, pretty much. Now, there's any guards down this side, they start looking at you weird. Why? Ah, I was wondering if I could get behind him and knock him out. If I could knock him out, then at least I could actually steal Good his day to you. Eh, not to tell me. Get out of the Jeez. way, dude! Alright, so that's a window, window, window. And that door. <laughs> in their friend's house in the night. Yes, that's exactly how I live, my friend. That's exactly how I live. So, huh? Can I knock him out? Oh, I can knock him out if I wanted to. Okay. Right, that. Come on, please, 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 please. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I was, dude, I was just playing. Just playing. So obviously, um, there was two methods. What do you think you're doing? Hurting people like that. We won't put up with violent brutes here. Is that clear? Of course. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will lend you a fat fine. Not a chance. I'm not going to pay it. I don't have the money. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of Ratai sent me on a secret mission. <laughs> I love the fact that they just to make him lie. I have to bend the law a little now and again. You understand? No, no, no! I don't have to. I don't. Yeah, have, I just have to beat him up. I don't have to hide his corpse next to anything. Tale. I just need to knock not him out, and I failed because I'm not. I'm a weakling at this point. No way! Two hundred. Fuck off! Whoa! No! Shit! No! I hit the wrong button! I hit the wrong button! No! 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 Oh! I didn't mean to flee. No, it's going to cost me more money. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hurting people like that. We won't put up with violent brutes here. Is that clear? Well, you won't forget this in Ari, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. That's not even a fine, that's just a bribe. 
Eh. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. You still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to. Send oh it well. <laughs> yeah, agree with him, So literally, exactly, exactly what happened the last time was I had I tried to do the sneaky, sneaky way, and I got yeah, caught no, uh, trying to lockpick. I got caught um, knocking people out. Got caught for a whole bunch of things. But essentially, um, literally, I got to the point where there's not much I could really do. So <laughs> yeah, it's gonna stop at twelve. And it's going, they're literally just going to throw me out of the town. So the problem is, it means I end up doing this and I don't have a horse. Still not in a private area, am I? What? Yep. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment. <sighs> not much, actually. Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go. I you can, I'm sorry to say. Get out now of the castle, off but I don't get, get to keep a horse. For all I care. Yep. Well, that was a problem solved. I got caught, but... I wave my arse in your general direction. Mwah! Yeah, I'm essentially going to leave now. Um, obviously, there is a bunch of stuff to do around here. These are public baths down here, where you can actually get your clothes laundered and have a maiden uh, take care of you for a little while. We'll be coming back to that at some point, I'm sure. But for now, we need to find a goddamn horse. Goddamn horse. Just goddamn. Okay, where could I find a goddamn horse? <sighs> I need to worry about that right now. <sighs> right, moving on. I'm um, you I want to steal a horse from somebody here, but I'm trying to figure out who would have a horse. Those are pigs. Nope, not riding a pig. Uh, horse, 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 horse. Where can I find a oh, oh. I saw a cart, but I didn't see a horse. I took the cart before the horse. Come on. Stables of any sort. I'm literally looking for a stable. Ooh, doggo! Hey, yeah! What the hell? Okay, bro. Eh, none of use. So, I am a little bit annoyed. There's no horses in that village at all for me to steal. Obviously, they've probably been kept all in the north. I'm going completely the wrong direction. I need to be going all the way up here, and I don't want to be doing it on foot. So, maybe we'll try and cut our way through. Yeah. I'll try and cut my way through the village and see if I can find a horse of any sort. If like somebody has a horse and cart or horse I can steal, I might just do that. Just to make this journey a little bit easier. Otherwise, I am going to be running my ass ragged. Yeah. Sweep! Right. Uh... My cabbages! Yeah. Nothing there. Horse? No. Doggo! <coughs> oh. uh. Hi, hello to there, Tanner. You don't have a horse, do you? I'm tempted to literally just try and like jump on the back of somebody. Probably my best bet. Because at this point now, that's it. There's no other horses. Nowhere, nowhere else I'm going to find a horse. So I'm kind of screwed. Ugh. Right. Maps time. There's the quarrymen up there. But I'm going up here to the... Ooh, if I go up through this, that'll do the job. That makes sense. Oh wait, is there... A... There's actually a full... Oh, right. Uh, in there. I thought there was actually like a way to have a mini-map. One thing I was kind of hoping for, there's, like, there's very little HUD, if you may notice in this game. I'm blue, da da Sorry. 
I was actually getting a tune to keep myself going between these long stretches of bullshit. Is there a horse? Oh, quarry. Makes sense. Would they have a horse for pulling dry? No. No. The per bitch quarry. Burbage Quarry has no horses. By the camp, though. Still no motherfucking horses. Son of a bitch. Oh, whoa, crap. Um, climb, climb, climb. Alright. Whoa. I had to get as far as the quarry. So I'm like, they sent me on to the next piss. Ding! I have to do the entire run myself. Ooh, look at that pop up. <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> yes, I do, sir. Yes, I do. Right. Time to brandish my weapon. I have no idea how to use this, but we'll run in and see what I can do. Ah, uh, all the bodies. Not one. No likey. Ah, uh, damn. Those murderous sons of bitches. of humanity, the worst of the worst, most horrific of people in the entire world, the people who did the most disgusting things to every person who was stuck in that same little place, just the peasants and the small people who didn't deserve any of this. Not a chance. No, he didn't have a chance to look. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I loot them? Jesus. Yes, I can! Ha-ha! <laughs> ah, no, not useful. Eh, yeah, some of them I can't loot. I can loot most of them, though. I'm impressive. Bandages! Always useful. My bandages! Right. The murky dawn. Gotta keep on running. I don't think we're gonna find anything else anywhere near any of those things. Like, nobody had any weapons, even. Like, they were pretty much unarmed and killed. God. Ooh, pretzel. Ah, shit! You fuck! Alright, you fuck. Oh, shit! You fucking coward! Come here! Fuck you! Oh, son of a bitch! Looting dead bodies. Also, your gear is so much better than all mine's. Yoink! Oh, you are so naked now. Well, sorry about that. Where were we going again? Oh yeah, right over here. Dude. Hmm. Right, let's see. Quaff. Uh, foot wrapping soles, they improve me, yep. Yeah. Uh, leather jerkin, yep, yeah, that improves me. Um, like Gambrion. Is that better than a what? Yeah, it is a little bit better. The quality's not great, but... That means I'm actually not doing too badly. Oh, I might as well eat someone to eat while I'm here. Hey, I'm full. Um, tight pantaloons. Yeah, we're all good. Boom. So, continue running. 
This is the way I need to go. I can kill people with grace. In fact, I committed a mercy kill, did you not see? Just keep running, just keep running, just, just, just keep running now. Running, 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 running all the way. Oi. Oh shit! Do they hang people? What the fuck? It's not just that you burn down their house, you fucking hung them too! Bastards. Well, that's not a useful horse. Why did anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Absolutely nothing, obviously. Here, is that a prick up there? Hang on a second. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the opening part of the village. Ooh, okay. So, I can go... Ooh, that is a long-ass way around. I'm going to take the route to the right, most likely. Um, if I continue straight down this path and then take a right, that'll probably be the best bet. I don't know if he don't burn, him, burn it down and... like. Oh, hey. shit! Dude, fuck, come here! Entertainment! Yep! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> That's you dying as well, motherfucker. Um. Oh, that take it all. Oh, an axe too. I will be taking that. Yoink. Okay. Uh. Um. Pretzel. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, killing guys. Really, really takes out, brings up my food. Like, I'm, I'm getting so hungry. Just with that punch. Let's see. Get a pretzel on me. Mmm. Eat that shit. Nope. Can't. All right. Dropping that pretzel then. <laughs> um, still under my carry weight, which is good. Oh, God. That was like another stack of bodies, wasn't it? All right. So, continuing on. Mm, mm, which way do I need to go? I need to take. Can I get in through that way? If I can get in through this way, then I'll just go this way. Oh, no, I can't. That's a problem. But I can! Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just equip myself first before I jump in here. Uh, not the map. Wrong one. I got those hunter's gloves. Get a little bit more defense. Um, <clears throat> I can use the axe as well. Sweet. Uh, dee -dee. Got a jerky. That's a better quality one anyway. Uh, drop you. It's not as good for my. Everything else drops there, so my strength and everything else goes down. I'll leave that on. Oh, noble shoes. Yeah, wear those. Uh, old boots. Mm. Drop those. Drop. Quality clothes. Oh, I'm gonna kind of take off all my pants. Um. Yep, that sounds good to me. Looks like everything I need. Okay. So I'm in town now, at least. Who's that? Didn't tell me who it is. Um, shit. This is the fact that opening up the map is such a pain. It's like, I really hope... Oh, right. I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Oh, 
pass. I do need to take the long way around because I can't... Is there a person hanging or is that a person down there? I think the hell. I need to walk my way around the outside here because the um, door was locked. Here, take care, Hydraulics. Thank you very much for sticking around. We're almost about to finish this uh, playthrough because we've got probably another maybe 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay left to actually cover because uh, I'm only going to go as far as the end of this prologue chapter. But thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you actually stick around for other videos in the future. Dead horse. Dead horse. This guy. Ah, shit. Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for this. Hey, <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, damn. Fucker. I'm just cutting away at his log. Oh! Damn! Right. Uh, take everything? Yeah, take everything. Who's this? Well, somebody had money. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm overladen now. That's a problem. I'm gonna try and drop some stuff here. Um, drop my old green shirt. Drop the lower quality jerkin. Um, Lynn hoods. I will choose boots. They're cheap. He bitch slapped me, is what he did. Oh, an improvement. The only thing to take down. Oh, I will take the black cloth. That black cloth is actually pretty good. Added. Another one we can go. And we're below. Wait. Oh god, town is fucked, man. He did indeed. I'll take that. Used to buy a sign with the death to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me. Right? Oh man, is this the fact that your friends are standing there and actually like they've, they've been killed at some point? <sighs> harsh, harsh. Where's mom and dad? Mom, dad. Ah, uh, there you are. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Mm. Why did you do it to me, Father? What? What did he Why? do to you? Why did you leave me? Oh, fuck you, kiddo. He told you to run so he could save your mother. Forgive me. He needs to fucking forgive you. Forgive everything. For not trying hard enough, for not being a better son. Next time I won't run. Well. I'll never run away again. Now you sound like a vengeance. Assumed motherfucker, and that's not great news either. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. You already look like you're dressed like a bandit. At first... I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. The first time I actually took a look at this section, I could not find that goddamn shovel for ages. But I know exactly where it is now. And there's a dude I am going to end. You told me you wanted to lie beside mother. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Josiah. Henry yeah. is a bit of a nimrod. Under the linden tree. 
Father said I wanted to be buried here. I can do that much for you. Better. Parents, no, I'd actually go and get my head speed. Let's see. That way. Get away. Aha! <laughs> the last time I spent ages searching for this goddamn noise and where it was coming from. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! Leave the shovel alone. What's going on? Miss Jack, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher? And isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that to do with anything? Dog's protecting his owner, you motherfucker! I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing? You're here to bury my goddamn parents, you motherfucker! I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Well, fuck you! Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? I fucking made it! My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Damn right. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword, then. See how that goes. And where will you dig it, anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Well, I wanted to be buried Father here. Father said he fuck. wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to. They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Fuck you, man. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Fuck you! I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. 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 That's right, turn tail and run, you bastard. Fucking hell, that dude can sprint! Oh shit. Oh, popper. Easy there, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore. Oh, the pupper's okay. I was actually, I thought he was gonna go for me after I actually like took the groshans out of his pocket. Well, at least we got the spade. Go bury the parents. Am I over encumbered again? By picking up that speed? God damn it. By much as well, too. Uh, weighs about four pounds, that's why. Um. <laughs> what is it actually that weighs so much? Oh, what's this? Ah, 
Ah, there we go. Makes a good defense. Um, I need that. Stuffed. Down. All right. Um, drop that. And ooh, are those good boots? Did those improve me or? Nah, they're down and everything. All right, drop those. Still above it. Damn it. Um, at least one thing I can drop here. Hard jacket. Better than the light shirt I'm wearing anyway at the moment, so put that on. Get rid of that. Boom. Problem solved. Running along at the speed of knuckles. What the fuck is going on? Get up to our house. Jesus. Uh, it doesn't look good news. I wonder. Can I get through the gate? Has it actually been sacked? In sack and get in. Nah, oh shit. I think it burned the fuck down. So much construction. Father's Forge. Nothing remains. Oh, thanks, Hydraulic. <laughs> That's pretty sweet of you. End of home. I need to rest, father and mother. This is a good Happy place. You wish to be. You're gonna like it here. Am I getting it wrong here? There should be a spot right here. Huh. Right. Let's get done. Here we lay, certainly departed. Father and mother of Henry, loved and beholden to the child, cared for and lost in the year that is 1665. The witness that bears this event is Mutt, a delightful dog, who spent his time with his master protecting him in life and death, and now the comfort of to a sad young man. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, the pupper. Look at the pupper, he's so cute. Let's get to it. Dogs know. They just know when you need the help. Damn. Like why? Like one of those things you just look at it and like, how do you approach this? Like, do I bury mom first? Do I bury dad first? Do I drag their bodies? Like grab an arm on each and drag them? Do I carry through them over my shoulder? Do I find a cart? What the fuck do I do? Damn it all! He has very thick lashes. How am I gonna do this? Do you need some help? Yes, I do. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. Don't you dare, you lads! Him. I don't think he's gonna be needing it anymore. Well, that kiss, let me share it with you! Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. Not a fucking chance. Not, you are getting stabbed as soon as I fucking get the chance. Leave me alone. 
kill him, Rat. Come on, Aye. fuck. Come on. Bastard down. As you like. Could have just lost you a few teeth. Ah! Fuck you. Bring it on. Oh shit! One hit! One hit! <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> that was just my bad luck the last time. It was a scripted event. I told you how it would end. You better listen to me. This is Son nice work. He's going to like it. Oh, don't worry. I'll be hunting your ass down it's after you, this. isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Oh, he kind of half predicted. You are fucking dead, Sibjik. For such moments. You the just made my so fucking no. list. Uh, you, Mustachio, this fuck... You're all dead. Did you help make it? You know who you did? You and your friends are dead! So I would love to die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuck <laughs> Hey! Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! The games are over. Don't! This is well Fuck yes! Down, she looked like a badass. She saved your ass, boy. <laughs> you parted with, i.e., it got stole to fuck. Deep Silver presents the actual intro to the game. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is actually the proper intro to. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, played through the first prologue chapter. It kind of gives you a basic idea of what you can expect, but obviously a very, very directed experience. This is the um, the cart ride at the beginning of Skyrim. It is the uh, wander through the caverns of oblivion, uh, the prison of oblivion. It, this, that, that, that entire gameplay, the last two hours of gameplay <laughs> is pretty much the intro to the game. Now if a game has a two hour intro that kind of spans two townlands, um, multiple possible avenues of completion, and eventually leads you to this, you kind of, you got it. You got to set that it's going to be a largely epic game that's going to have a lot of variety and choices. Get started bright and blessed. <laughs> Hawkman, dive! Sorry, I didn't mean to actually have that so loud. Because <laughs> Brian Blessed is like, a big deep in voice. Ah! So obviously, uh, we survived the encounter. Teresa takes us off to heal. Shit hits the fan with us, but we actually have another option of what we need to do with our lives afterwards. Obviously, starting off in brand new homestead. It feels very Red Dead Redemption-y slash... Um, Oblivion ask where we actually get the open world set up in front of us and a lot of choices in our world. Obviously, um, revenge is the first thing on my mind. So I really hope to be playing more of this in the future with you guys on stream or actually for um, edited together special kind of events. But uh, yeah, this is actually probably the first game of its kind that's got my massive amount of my attention that I wouldn't have gotten rid of otherwise. The... Um, the, what would be essentially the first of these first person RPGs. I don't know if I'm really a massive fantasy fan. I do like medieval history in this way. I like being presented in this way. So I like looking forward to learning rather than actually uh, learning about mages and necromancers and stuff like that. I kind of know uh, these like, books and stuff like that. This I have no concept of. Hey! This guy's the actual chef boy RD! He's just a lot older now. Uh, thanks, Josiah. Thanks, Hydraulic. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys here. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more of this in the future. 
So uh, we will get a proper schedule time. We'll get stuff like this on a regular basis. It's guys like you that show up to actually watch the streams and make me so goddamn happy and excited to actually do this and interact with you guys as well. Oh, <laughs> wait. We have a bit of a play to do? Oh, right. We are literally walking in our nightmares. Uh, burning bodies, dead bodies everywhere. What's... Oh, no. Huh? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Right, they're all dead. There more? I don't see any more. I don't know where I'm going. Oh god. This is like, um... Ice Dreno Vision, Nightmare Review, not cool. Not cool. I'm going. Do I know where I'm going? Do I have a map? Do I. Oh god. I have no idea where I am. Um. Context. Somebody. Maybe. Anything? Oh, there we go. Boom. Follow the A. What? Oh. That's where I need to go. <laughs> Check your Twitter to see the meme we will never let go of. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to that, man. Actually, I'm looking forward to... You if you memed me, I will be sharing that. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be kind of cool. Um, that's... You, you said you, you'll be the first person who's meme... Who's meme oh, no. That's a lie. Somebody memed me once at a con. And it was, um... Terrible. You know, oh, she might share that one afterwards. Oh, Reliving these horrible memories. I don't like the fact that we're going to be doing the oh post traumatic stress syndrome kicking in. Shit is looking a lot worse than it actually was. <laughs> oh damn. Reliving those memories over and over again. There's work to be done. There's work to be done. Other. Oh yes, that's it. it was actually one of the first things she said to you at the very beginning of the game. There's work to be done. Alright. Guys and gals, thank you very much for watching. We're gonna probably pause this as soon as it actually goes into the um the next scene. Thank you. Oh well we might have a Come on. Do, do we have context? I don't know if it's actually gonna see it. Uh John, we'll go out of this. That way I can actually keep the context of what happens next for us to actually see in the next stream. Um guys, that's been absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for watching. It has actually been an absolute pleasure to do. I'm looking forward to doing more of this in the future, like I said. If you haven't been watching this on YouTube, uh, the long play that actually has been put up on the, the video otherwise, then make sure to actually hit the wee subscribe up there somewhere. Uh, there'll also be boxes and buttons over here. Most likely a playlist above me. Uh, over to the far side will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube, it will pick something that I've already made that you will enjoy, and I hope you do enjoy it. And subscribe to the channel and check out more in the future. <sighs> That was Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm really excited to play more of this, so I'm looking forward to getting into it more. Um, other things I referenced in this episode, I highly recommend you check out uh, Sam Steele as St Mr. Stainless 001 on here on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the video below the video here because he did an amazing little description of the back history and stuff that's involved in this, and he'll probably be doing more videos of Kingdom Come in the future. So I think that would be a good companion series if you're enjoying this. You might want to check that out as well. But again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.